Can you learn to code and get a job in three months? If you follow many tech people on Twitter or YouTube, they answer this question all the time. They will say, if anyone tells you that you can learn to code and get a job in three months, they are lying. Or an even harsher take is, if they are selling you a course, they are scammers. According to them, there's only one way to learn to code and break in. The education has to be free and it'll take a year or more. After all, there's a ton of free resources available today, so these influencers must be correct, right? Many of these influencers I follow actually don't teach people to code and they are not trying to find anyone a job. By finding someone a job, I mean taking their resume, portfolio and projects and pitching them to employers. Find open positions, call on their behalf and arrange interviews. Coach them and encourage them when they're not selected to keep doing the hard work of breaking into tech for the first time. That's what we do at Coder Foundry. Many of these influencers will tell you never attend a bootcamp, but they themselves attended a bootcamp. But the question remains, can I learn to code and get a job in three months? Well, here at Coder Friendly, we teach a 12 week bootcamp. So of course I'm gonna say these influencers are misinformed and that we're right. Have I seen students in our course graduate and find a job in 12 weeks? And are they still working today? Yes, I have. I can show you personal testimonies from multiple people showing you how we train them and they got a job within 12 weeks. So let's just end the video there. I hope this helps. Good luck. And hold on. We shouldn't stop there. We need to examine why. Because not every single student had a job in 12 weeks. Some students took longer. Some students failed. Does that make me a scammer? Or do all boot camps suck? No, absolutely not. We need to ask ourselves a different question. Why do some people do it and some take longer and why do some fail? I know the answer and I'm gonna tell you that answer, but I want you to understand that attending Coder Foundry is not the answer. I'm gonna give you a repeatable framework that will work for everyone. It just so happens, this is the process we have developed and follow and it works. But you can do this with free resources, college, or attending a bootcamp like Coder Foundry. To be clear, we're talking about full stack web development and not all jobs are equal. If you're pursuing just managing content on a website, you may only need to learn CSS and HTML. So your time frame could be shorter. But for our purposes, we're talking about full stack web development. So how long does that take? We spend 600 to 1000 hours coding during our 12 week course. We spend eight hours a day, five days a week in class time. Students will spend time outside of a class to complete assignments and projects. We call this immersive learning. During this time, a student can access a teacher for 40 hours a week. This is how we can deliver results in a short time frame. We provide access to a teacher and an immersive full-time process. Now, the mistake people make is they discount the need for a teacher in their learning process. Just learning online with no access to an instructor will lengthen the time to achieve your goal. Also, three months is a calendar time. You need to focus on clock time. You also need to focus on blocks of time for your learning to be effective. Our minimum time is 600 hours. Now, the other mistake people make is the student does not learn an in-demand language or tool. I've read posts from influencers stating that they learned something first, but realized no one would hire them with those skills. So they had to go back and learn something else and then they got hired. This lengthened the time they needed to spend learning. You should learn from those mistakes. So a bootcamp or a course should give you a curated experience that leads to a particular job and you learn languages and tools used in the industry for that job. This is why we teach full stack web development using ASP.NET and C Sharp. The job is in high demand and the tech is used by many companies for that job. We also spend 600 plus hours learning our craft. To get a job, you must have a portfolio of projects. The portfolio must be well-designed and published. If you went to a, another bootcamp, college or course, and you do not have showcase-worthy projects, your job prospects are limited. The only way to get a job is to have proof of work. And this is why simple projects do not work as portfolio projects. You need a business class project like a bug tracker. So if you spent time learning and you have no projects, you need to take the time to build them. 
The step may be an addition to your learning, so it may add time. You must build projects to get a job. To get a job, you first have to get an interview. So how do I do that? First, you must have a professional LinkedIn profile and a portfolio project. The first step is to go to LinkedIn and share your portfolio with as many recruiters as possible. Connect with people who could hire you. Engage in their posts. Be positive in all of your social interactions, whether it be Twitter, LinkedIn, or Instagram. Avoid complaining and negative reviews of a hiring process or company. It paints you in a bad light. While negative posts may get engagement on social media, the person supporting your position isn't someone who's likely to hire you. The next step, go to Indeed or LinkedIn Jobs. Look for roles, but filter those roles by entry level or associate level. Search for jobs that match the technology you have learned and apply to those jobs. Do this every day. Once you apply, contact the company directly via LinkedIn or email. Tell them you applied and give them three reasons why you are a match. Attach your portfolio to this communication. Follow up on every application until you get a yes or a no. If you get a no, ask for feedback. Utilize this feedback to improve. 50 targeted applications with follow-up are way better than 500 untargeted applications with no follow-up. Once you get an interview, you must relate interview questions to your code in your projects. Answer any question you get with an example of something you wrote. The quicker you demo your showcase project, the quicker you'll get hired. So, can you learn to code and find a job in three months? The answer is yes, but you must have projects and you must be able to talk about them during an interview. The question you may have is, why do some people fail? The first reason they fail is they don't complete the learning process. They give up before they finish learning the course or going to the boot camp or going to school. After the learning process, they don't build projects. The projects on the portfolio are weak or they're not very businesslike. Also, during the looking process or trying to find a job, they are not committed to looking every single day. They also aren't very good at talking in examples in an interview setting. And finally, they do not exhibit any confidence or excitement during the interview process. So, can you learn to code and find a job in three months? Yes, but you'll need to invest 600 to 1,000 hours learning to code. You also need to learn an in-demand tech stack and you need to build business class projects and put them on your portfolio. During the application process, you need to follow up on every single application and you need to learn how to interview, talk in examples, demo your code. While this may not work for every single person in three months, it can work for most in under a year. Don't worry about whether it's three months or six months or a year. Worry about your commitment to your craft. Anyway, I hope this helps. Good luck and keep coding.